this is a sign I shouldn't have left literally the fire alarm is going off is the place burning down because I'm not there it's moving day it's finally here um, I still have another load of laundry on my bed and I'm not gonna lie another load of laundry in the dryer it's 5 45 in the morning and I am rushing to pack up these last bits of clothes and some small like toiletry bathroom makeup items everyday items so that I can throw everything in the car and get going in the next hour or so my mom is on her way to put stuff in her car as well and she's gonna help me move the small things that we can carry and then like I said on Friday night I'm coming back on Saturday to move the bigger things with the U-Haul and my dad is gonna help me on that day so let's get to it house yet? Uh, no, we're gonna leave in a few minutes. Okay, do you have tape? Can Kinda you bring tape. like tape so I can... I can tape? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Alright. Alright, I'll see you soon. Be in care of, so. Okay. Okay. Alright, bye. Okay, here I am hitting you with all the bad angles but we learned yesterday that it's hard to vlog with just your camera on the dash it's it doesn't really work so I'm all packed up as you can see I have as much of my stuff that I'm taking that can fit in my car in my car and then my mom's car is in front of me with a whole bunch of stuff. She's like an expert packer, I guess. <laughs> All the boxes that I wanted to take today and then some fit in her car. So we are on our way to Philly and we should be getting there in the next, what is it, I think two hours and 15 minutes or whatever, which is better time than I thought. And I'm so ready. We are taking some side streets. I have no idea what part of Philly I'm in right now, but I am here in my new hometown and I am so excited, so excited. And I'm especially excited um, to stop at Target just to get the cleaning supplies because like I said, I'm arriving about an hour early. Thankfully my mom and her boyfriend who is uh, helping us, they did a pit stop and I that probably put me 20 minutes ahead of them. So by the time we all gather together at the apartment, um, I should have the cleaning supplies and we should be just a few minutes early to the appointment that I need to go to to hand in my first and last month's rent and get the keys. So I made it to my new apartment. I'm so excited. Um, it looks just like I imagined it would and I'm just going to take you through a quick empty apartment tour. So this behind me is the front door that you would walk in and this is the long hallway down to the kitchen and living area. Immediately to your right is the guest suite. I'm going to go into more details about each area at a different time in a different video but this is my second bedroom that's going to be my office 
Right now we're piling all of the stuff that we're moving in here so that we can deep clean the whole apartment before unpacking some stuff. This is my guest bedroom um, closet, which is pretty deep. This is the guest bedroom bathroom, which I love so much. Walking down the hallway to the door to the right is my master bathroom, which I love the his and her sinks, the huge mirror, and this amazing shower that I'm so excited about. Then there's like built-in storage, like linen storage, which is great. And there's a door immediately to my master bedroom, which I think is honestly pretty small, but it'll do. Because I don't have that much bedroom stuff, bedroom furniture anyway. Then one of my favorite parts is the closet that already came with this built-in storage that I know a lot of people pay a lot of money for. And then there's a door to the living area. So this is the living room, which I'm so in love with. This is the kitchen. And again, I'm gonna go through each of these features in more detail in a different video. My washer and dryer, luxury. Okay, so we just finished moving in all this stuff that is mine that was from both my car and my mom's car. I'm so happy that she came to help me move and brought her boyfriend because he was an expert mover. <laughs> he was able to really help us get the stuff into the apartment as quick as possible. They went out so that they could get food and I'm here trying to figure out how to make our cab my cable work. The company that I purchased my bed frame, headboard, and couch from just came to deliver it and we had so many issues trying to get this centerpiece into the door. I actually had to call maintenance to ask them if they could remove the door off the hinges so that we could fit the um, corner piece of the sectional through the door frame because otherwise it wasn't gonna fit so I'm so glad that we were able to do that we have it facing this way the window instead of over here where the TV is is because I didn't want the TV to be over here that's not how I envisioned it like I said everything that is in this apartment was carefully thought out well in advance and um, that's not where I wanted the TV. I thought of the TV going over here under the window on a low um, TV stand, which I have and is being built in the other room. So once that TV stand is built, I'm going to put it over here with the TV on top of it, which means we have to run extension cords for the cable in order to go along the perimeter of the room. This is supposed to be my little dining area. I know what table I'm getting already, um, and I want it to go right there. That's kind of what I saw in the model unit, and I really liked the way that that looked. So um, that's what I really want to do. Here are my bar stools that we have set up for now until I'm able to purchase and get the table set up. Um, and I really like them even though they're a brighter green than I wanted them to be but that's okay and yeah so I'm gonna try to figure out why this TV is taking so long to turn on what I plan to do for now until we are able to get a longer cable cord because um, they're really short um, but what I plan to do for now is just make sure that the box itself works 
and then once I figure out that the box is working, I'm gonna just unplug the TV and set it up over there and use my fire stick, because I do have a fire stick. I already tested the router, so the Wi-Fi is working, which is awesome. Um, so I can connect my fire stick to my Wi-Fi and watch Netflix, YouTube, and all of that until I'm able to get a longer cable cord. I've been living in Queens, New York for a long time and I haven't ever lived outside of New York State. So I'm very excited about this new experience and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. So let me sit down for a second and catch my breath and figure out this cable. I am so exhausted. Um, my mom and her boyfriend just left. They went back to New York. So now I am alone and I'm so tired. <laughs> I am waiting on my boyfriend to do one more thing. I wanna go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I know that I'm gonna spend a few hours shopping between tomorrow and Friday for like decor pieces or things that I've just been very excited to buy that I couldn't or didn't want to get online. But I don't have any towels so if i want to and i definitely need to if i want to take a shower tonight i don't have towels to do that so i'm going to get some towels and see what else i might be able to find at bed bath and beyond that i need like i know i need um a kitchen garbage can because i don't have a garbage can in the kitchen so i'm thinking about putting a um stainless steel trash can right here or right here or I was thinking that since I have the under the sink storage space to put one on the door because I kind of like seeing that when people have their trash cans hidden um so this is what the aftermath of today's work looks like right now i was chilling on the couch watching some youtube videos um we have my fire stick set up already over there on the side of the tv so netflix is going to be my source of entertainment tonight i could not figure out how to get the cable to work so technical support is coming tomorrow to fix my um cable issue but as long as we got internet, we're good. We're good for, we can last 24 hours with Wi-Fi, right? I'm so excited to be here and I kind of wish that I had more energy because I really, I thought that I was gonna come in here and do everything today. That's not gonna happen. I'm tired. And you know, I have a whole 364 more days at least at least <laughs> with this lease agreement i'm here for a year at least and i really hope and pray that this um apartment is all that i expected it to be so that um i couldn't i can renew my lease if i want to and i hope that i want to because i love what i see so far and um i can't wait to make memories in here and work on myself in here so i think that's it for today maybe i'll take you guys to bed bath and beyond with me probably not because i'm not very comfortable filming myself in public let me show you guys what i look like can you imagine if you saw this happening in your local target i i can imagine that it might be like this very often in like la or LA where most youtubers live but I have not yet once in my life seen somebody walking around Bed Bath & Beyond or a Target or a grocery store like this with a tripod holder and a camera and look at this she looks crazy and I'm not a, I'm not comfortable with looking crazy yet so oh lord she also looks like she needs to work out I'm gonna go bye guys